Dynamics 365 Customer Voice is a feedback management tool that allows us to send surveys to generate actionable insights based on customer feedback. To get into Customer Voice, click on the waffle in the top left hand corner and then click on Customer Voice. You may have to click on the All Apps button first. Once you've clicked on this, you'll be brought into the Customer Voice dashboard. From here, we'll have a list of all of our existing projects down the left hand side if you have any, and you'll be able to see some statistics on existing surveys that you've sent. We can also continue working on any existing surveys. And finally, we've got some tips and tricks from Microsoft at the bottom. From here, we can go ahead and click New Project. And we can choose from a number of templates provided by Microsoft. For this instance, I'm going to be clicking on the Support template and clicking Next. Next, we need to choose the instance to add the survey to. And then we can click Create. As you can see, we've now been brought into the survey designer. From here, we can start to design our survey before it gets sent out to the customer. The top here, you can see we can go ahead, we can change the style, change the theme colors, add an image, or add a logo. We can go ahead and add an image in there. And we can also choose if we want to uh, see the header or not. And over here, we can see the section that we are currently in. If we click on the three dots, we've got the option to duplicate, remove, or we can add logic. We can add logic onto these sections that allow us to hide sections or see sections based on previous answers that have been given. Let's take a look at the first question. We can see here it's saying, hi, first name. So what this is using is a variable brought in from Dynamics 365. If we click on the little variable drop downs, you can see that there's a few here out of the box that we can pull through first name, last name, local company name. But if I click on new variable, it'll allow us to pull through some more details from Dynamics 365 so we can add these into the email. And that will automatically pull through with the first name of the person that this gets sent out to. Below this, we have the option to add new. We've got the option between choice, text, rating, date, ranking, light out scale, or a net promoter score. Looking through here, we can see how this has all been set out for us. We can also take a look over on the right hand side at the customization panel. First of all, we've got satisfaction metrics, and these are metrics that are calculated based off of the answers that have been given. We can even use multiple answers to create certain metrics. Below this, we've got our advanced logic. So once again, this is where we can go in and we can hide and show certain things depending on what we want to show the user. We've got simple logic, which is what we just saw. And there is also an advanced logic option if you want to use that as well. Below this, we've got personalization. So we can pull in all of our variables that I was speaking about earlier. Languages, if we want to add multiple languages. Branding, in here we can go ahead, change the theme color, change fonts. And we can also add a background to the survey. And finally, formatting as well. Once we've built our survey and we're happy with it, we can click on preview up in the top right hand corner and we can see what it'll look like on a desktop. And we can also click on mobile and see what it'll look like on a mobile device. Now we can go ahead and we can send this survey once we're happy with it. Now there's a few different ways that we can send surveys from customer voice. First of all, we've got automation. This uses Microsoft Flow. We can send it out in an email. We can embed the code on our website. We can send a link or we can have a QR code that we can place where we want as well. The main ones that we're going to go through today are going to be email and automation. So let's take a look at those. Let's start off with email. As you can see, we're now in the email designer. and We can start building out this email before we send it to the customer. You can see up here we've got a template button. And from in here, we can go to any recent templates that we've created or we can create a brand new email and click create new and create a template from this email. We can also choose the language and we've got an insert button up here and this is where we can insert our variables such as first name, last name. We can add in a question at the survey directly to the email. We can add in a link to the survey and we can also add the unsubscribe link. Below this, we've got our recipients. As this is part of the Microsoft ecosystem, we can pull in contacts directly from Dynamics 365. We can even pull in all contacts from a view in Dynamics 365. To give you an example, if we look at my instance, we can see I have a list here of all of my active apprentices. To add all of these, all I need to do is search for the view. 
You can see it's gone away, it's found the view that I'm looking for, and I've now added in all of our active apprentices into this email. We can also search individual names. And finally, we can import contacts as well if we've got, say, a CSV or an Excel sheet. Below this, we can add our subject, and then we can start editing the contents of the email. As you can see, we've pulled in a few variables, we've got a begin survey button, and then finally a thank you from our company. Once we're happy with the email, we can go ahead, add this as a template so we can use it in the future, or we can go ahead and click send. That email has now been sent and is on its way to the recipient. However, as this is a case feedback form, let's look at another way that we might be able to send out this email. If we click on resend, we can click on automate. From here, we can choose from a number of Microsoft templates, or we can go ahead and create our own. In this case, I'm going to click on See More Templates, and I'm going to click on Send a Survey when a case is resolved in Dynamics 365. Clicking on here, I need to sign into a few things. Once I'm signed in, I can click Continue. And now it's going to give me the option to edit in advanced mode, in which case it will take us directly to Flow, where I can edit that. Or I can click the Create button, and that will automatically go ahead, create that flow for us, and that is now ready to go. So, let's take a look at this from the Dynamics 365 side. I've come into Dynamics 365, and I'm currently looking at a case. Now, the flow that we created is going to automatically send out a survey when the case is resolved. So, we've got a contact here, George. Let's go ahead and resolve this case. Once we click the Resolve button, that's going to close the case, and in the background, it's going to go ahead and it's going to send off that flow. It's going to automatically send out the survey. If we now come over to George's contact form, we can see here that a customer survey invite has been sent. If we go into George's inbox, we can see that this email has already come through. It's pulled in our name, and we can go ahead and click on the Begin Survey button. Clicking on this, we're brought through to the survey, and we can start filling out how we feel about how our case was resolved. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click Submit. Going back to the contacts in Dynamics 365 allows us to see that this uh, survey response is coming from the customer. We can click into the record and we can see all of their uh, responses from within Dynamics 365. But if we want to go back to Customer Voice, we can also see the responses there. So let's take a look. I've come back into Customer Voice and you can see we've got some statistics on our survey so far. So it's been sent out twice. We've had one response back and we can see that it's had one read. We can also see uh, a nice flow diagram down the bottom here of how everything is running. Over on the left hand side, we've got a few extra points here as well. So if we go to the case resolution survey report, we can see that we've had one report here. It's a five star rating and we can see the answers to all of our questions here. We've also got satisfaction metrics, which will start filling in once we've got a bit more data. And we can set up alerts here as well. So if we are having issues, maybe we're only getting one stars, we can set up an alert to send off to one of our managers to say, hey, look, maybe there's something wrong here. Let's take a look at one that I created earlier with a bit more detail in here. Looking at my satisfaction metrics, you can see I've got a bit more of an insight on this one as to what's going on. So you can see yesterday wasn't exactly a great day, but it looks like we are back on track today. And we can see our customer sentiment chart here as well. So looking mostly positive or neutral. Below this, we've got our case feedback, and we can see all of our individual feedback for all of our cases. Over on the right hand side, we can see our respondents. These are all going to come in as anonymous, um, but if you are sending them out from Dynamics, these will all have names, so you can search. And finally, you can see here we've also got a calendar option, so we can choose what days we would like to be able to see. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions regarding customer voice. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more of our videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.